we have problems on house property house one let out for residence we are supposed to minus 30 percent of the whatever actual answer you have house one house two as well as house three A warm welcome to one and all. This is your other sir here, lecturing with the Ashram Facilitate College, the Temple of Excellence. So we are in the session seven of your topic called income tax. Under income tax, we are discussing today income from house property. Now, in income from house property, we are doing the topic called three houses today. Now, if you have three houses, one will be self-occupied, another will be let out and one more will be, again it is let out property. How do we calculate if you have questions like this? Now, in today's session, we will work out all these kind of problems for today's session. The agenda is very simple. We have problems on house property. We have problems on house property. So these are the question. Computation of taxable income from house property. House 1 let out for residence. House 2 let out for business. And house 3 let out for own business. Now if the house 3 is let out for own business, we will not calculate anything. There is no your, we will not calculate anything in the sense there is no income received from that. If anything used for your own business, we will not calculate tax for that. Now, so how do we calculate all this? We'll go for that. Now, you have house one, house two, as well as house three. Now, in the house one, you have municipal tax, fair rent, standard rent, actual rent. House one, it is let out for resident, we have to calculate. House 2, let out for business, we have to calculate. But house 3, let out for own business, we have to consider this as self-occupied. Self-occupied, the last house. Now, we don't do any calculation for this. Directly, if there are any interest is there, we are supposed to consider. Now, we have municipal value, fair rent, standard rent, actual rent, municipal tax paid, municipal tax of current year left unpaid. I'll come back to this. Now, actual repair expenses, insurance of property, interest for the year 2021 and paid during the year, yes. Next, accrued but not paid, that is also mentioned. These are the informations we have in your question paper. Now, we'll go to answer directly for this. So house one, it is let out property. House two, let out property. House three, it will be self-occupied property. We'll go like this. Now, out of this, first one is what? Your municipal value or fair rent. municipal value so municipal value how much it is 60,000 and fair rent now I'll write down what is your municipal value 60,000 and 92,000 60,000 92,000 we will not consider for house 3 then so what is your fair rent? Fair rent they have given 72 as well as 68. 72,000 and 68,000. Now, out of these two, out of these two, whichever is higher. So higher value. Sixty or seventy-two, which one is higher? Seventy-two thousand is the higher. Ninety-two or sixty-eight thousand. Higher is what? Ninety-two thousand. Up to this, hope you understood. Yes. Now we done with this. For this, 
you have to compare standard rent. So whichever is less, whichever is less. Now your standard rent, I'll go back. Your standard rent is 69,000 and 1 lakh 2,000. 69,000 and 1 lakh 2,000. So whichever is what? Less, whichever is less. Out of these two, 69,000 is the less. Out of these two, 92,000 is less. Hope you are clear. Yes, good. 69,000 as well as 92,000. Now, this is done. Next, lesser value, lesser value. So you got lesser value of 69,000 as well as 92. Compare with what? Actual rent. Actual rent. So actual rent in this, whichever is higher. What is your actual rent? I'll go back to your format. Your actual rent received 82,000 as well as 80,000. Now, so I'll take it 82,000 and we'll go for 80,000. Out of this, whichever is higher. So we'll go for 82,000. And we go for 92,000. Hope up to this you have understood. Now, so up to this we have done. What is this 82 and 92? Gross annual value. What is this? Gross annual value. Your gross annual value is we got 82,000 and we got 92. Up to this hope there is no doubt. We got gross annual value. What is the next? We have to minus municipal tax. Now minus, minus municipal tax. So I'll go back to question. So what is the municipal tax? Municipal tax paid during the year. 3,600, 4,000, and four thousand. We are not calculating house three because it is own self business. Now we'll take three thousand six hundred. We'll take four thousand. Then municipal tax for the current year left unpaid. Always remember, if the municipal tax is not paid, we will not consider. Two things. Please write on the note. Actually, if municipal tax paid by tenant, we will not consider. If the municipal tax is unpaid, we will not consider. If municipal tax is paid, we have to consider. Even though municipal tax of previous year, you have paid now, you have to consider. Whatever municipal tax paid, even though for the old, for the future, for now, if it is paid, consider. Should it be paid by whom? Owner. Now, hope you are clear. Now, how much is municipal tax? It is and 3600 and this will be 4000 i'll cross check once 3600 and 4000 we will not consider this unpaid we will not consider remember this very important now so we'll see how much we will get if you calculate your net annual value net annual value is so how much if you minus this will be 88,000 and this will be 78,400 hope you are clear up to this we have completed and we done with your net annual value but we are supposed to calculate your income from house property how do we call it, calculate income from house property will calculate in this there is no calculation there is no calculation now what is your net annual value net annual value the first one is 78,000. Yes, it will be 81, 82. Yes, 78, 400. 78, 400. Second one, 88,000. And the third one, it will be blank, nil. Now, 
Hope you understood. Now, less, less, 30% standard deduction under section 24. We are supposed to minus 30% of the whatever actual answer, your net annual value we got. I'll calculate this, how much I'll get? 78,400, 78,400 into 30% and one more is 88,000 multiplied with 30%. These are the calculations we are supposed to do. Now, so we'll calculate 78,400 into 30%. I got 23,520. 23,520. Similarly for last one, 88,000 into 30%. 26,400. 26,400. So is there anything like interest we have to minus? Less interest. Now, I'll go back to question now in this. So, we have actual repair charges we are not supposed to take. It is not part of your calculation. Then, insurance on property we are not supposed to take. Remember, we are not supposed to take any expenditures in this. Next, interest for the year 2020-21 loan taken to purchase property. Remember, Interest, even though you have paid or payable, both should be considered. It is not like your, your municipal tax. In case of interest, the paid payable, both will come under interest portion. Now, interest for the year 2021 on loan taken to purchase property paid during the year. How much? 12,000 and accrued but not paid. All put together, it is 20,000. We have to consider. This all put together, how much? 45. Both are let out. There is no limit, unlimited interest you can take. If it is self-occupied, up to 2 lakh you can consider. If it is let out, let out means you have a limit, unlimit, unlimited. Any amount you are supposed to take. In case of it is self-occupied or your own business, interest amount, it is a restricted to 2 lakh. Remember that. Now, so we have 20,000, we have 45,000 interest. So we have 20,000 and we have 45,000. Now, these two we are supposed to minus so income from house property i'll use i'll take the help of calculator so what is the answer 78 400 minus 23 520 minus 20 so I got 34,880. 34,880. Similarly, I'll go for house 2. As per house 2, I have 88,000 minus 26,400 minus 45,000. I got 16,600. What is the last one? The last one is nil. So what will be your final answer now? Your final answer, in this we got 34, in this we got 16. Final answer will go plus 34,880. We got 51,480. 51,480. This will be income from house property. Hope you are clear. Any doubt? Hope there is no doubt. Income from house property. As per this, we get 51,400 and 
50. Hope you are clear. Yes, this is all about your today's session actually. I'll go back to your previous slides so that you can take screenshots. So this is the agenda and this will be your question of complete three houses. Your solution part of house one, house two as well as house three. And this is the second part of your solution. And the final answer is total of house one, house two and house three. We will get 51,480. So this is all about your today's session. Please, without seeing the answer, try to solve this problem once at your home. Thank you.